On December 20th, 2019, the Space Force was officially signed into law as the sixth branch of the United States military by President Donald Trump. Officially making the United States Space Force the first new armed service since the Air Force was established in 1947. This is leaving a lot of people wondering, what exactly is the Space Force? And what is it going to do? Is it supposed to be about protecting us against a possible alien invasion? Not really. Or is it about possibly taking the wars of our world to space? Well, kind of, but not quite. To really understand the purpose of the United States Space Force, we'll have to take a quick look at the history and proposed future of this new military branch. The United States actually first became interested in the militarizing of outer space during World War II, with space activities beginning immediately afterwards under the United States Air Force. But research and development at that time was slow, as many didn't believe in the importance of space projects, until October 4th, 1957, when the Soviet Union launched Sputnik 1, the world's first satellite. This was a highlight in the Cold War an event that threw rocket fuel in the space race. And it is an event that made the United States determined to get to the moon first. Fast forward to the 1980s. At this time, there were several different space programs within the U.S. And the Air Force realized they needed a central organization for a space program. So on the 1st of September, 1982, the Air Force Space Command was created as an Air Force Major Command. This organization would later become the United States Space Force. According to the Air Force Space Command, its mission was to provide resilient and affordable space capabilities for the Joint Force and the nation. What this mainly consisted of was the launching and operation of satellites for the use of communications, surveillance, intelligence, satellite-based weather, missile warning, and navigation. Now that the Air Force Space Command has been absorbed into the United States Space Force, the overall function has changed. To provide freedom of operation for the United States in, from, and to space, and provide prompt and sustained space operations. And its duties will include to protect the interests of the United States in space, deter aggressions in, from, and to space, and conduct space operations. The U.S. Space Force mission is to organize, train, and equip space forces in order to protect U.S. and allied interests in space and to provide space capabilities to the joint force. Its responsibilities include developing military space professionals, acquiring military space systems, maturing the military doctrine for space power, and organizing space forces to present to the combatant commands. In the future, this could allow for the development for spaceships capable of military combat and other space weapons, as well as set up a U.S. military organization for future ventures into space in search of resources. Over the next five years, the cost of the United States Space Force is estimated to be around $2 billion. The United States Space Force will start with 16,000 members, with 200 standing at the headquarters now located in the Pentagon. Much of the work for the next five years will be the transferring of existing infrastructure. So while the USSF will take control of many military functions in outer space, such as those once delegated to the Air Force Space Command, it may be a while into the future before we see our servicemen and women in outer space.